we are now going to move uh, to the candidate's two-minute summation, and we are going to speak to Owen Smith first, and then to Jeremy Corbyn. Mr Smith. Thanks, Sophie. I grew up in the 1980s in South Wales under a radical right-wing Tory government that was determined to strip away social security, that was determined to break our trade unions, that was determined to underfund the NHS, that was determined to reduce wages for working people. And we're back there again. We've got a Tory government right now in this country with exactly the same issues and exactly the same intentions. And I'm not prepared to wait 18 years to get rid of them. I'm not prepared to wait 18 years for us to get our act together as a party this time and get them out. Because they're still intending to privatise the NHS. They're still intending to scapegoat disabled people in this country. They are still stripping away the wages and the workers' rights of ordinary people in my constituency and Jeremy's. And those people, they can't wait 18 years. They can't wait 18 minutes for another Labour government. So I'm very clear. I want to lead a Labour government. I want to introduce fair taxation in this country. I want to deliver a revolution in workers' rights in this country. I want to introduce proper fair funding for every corner of Britain, getting us off our knees and turning us once more into the engine room of the global economy. But we can only do that. We can only do that if we're in power. We can only do that if we are a Labour government. So if you give your support to me, if you give me a chance to lead the Labour Party in opposition, I will make us once more a powerful opposition to this Tory government, and I will restore us to a credible and radical socialist Labour government in waiting. If you put your faith in me, Up I time. will not let you down. Since the election last summer, our party has grown enormously. 300,000 new members have joined because they want to see this country governed and run in a different way. And that has had an effect. We've had victories in Parliament, we've had election victories in by-elections, council elections and mayor election, mayoral elections. And our party has to adapt to a new way of working. We are now such a large organisation, we've got to be and should be and must be involved in every single community in this country, in the issues they face, the campaigns they wage and the demands that they make. I want our constituency parties to be outgoing and involved in their communities at all times so that we can build and transform our society and give people the confidence that things can be done very differently in Britain. So, we start with a housing policy that works for all. Regulate the private rented sector. Invest in secure lifetime tenancies in council housing and give first-time buyers an opportunity to buy somewhere they can afford rather than having Tories, a Tory government that uh, keeps luxury homes empty as a land bank and allows people to sleep on the streets at the same time. Our railways being brought into public ownership so that we get the benefits and the profits from the enormous investment we've put in. Higher wages and a proper minimum wage that means something, £10 an hour that the TUC suggests. I think environmental, environmental protection policies that help to build a sustainable environment in Britain and we play our part in dealing with the global challenges. Civil rights defended and a foreign policy based on peace and justice. This is underpinned by a national investment bank and an investment strategy that creates decent jobs for all in all regions of Britain. A growing economy that can deliver public services for all. A dynamic socialist idea of how we bring about real change so nobody and no community is ever left behind.
Thank you.